So where are you not speaking your truth? Where are you maybe holding yourself back or saying things that aren't actually your inner truth? And why are we doing that? That is what our topic is for today. So hi, I'm Kylie Ansett. I am the Alignment Whisperer. I am here to help wisdom seekers get in alignment with their soul purpose. And I'm coming to you from beautiful Sydney, Australia. And this is your daily dose of alignment. Now, I last night I found on the tip of my tongue, <laughs> One of those nasty little, you know, those little ulcer things that just suddenly come up out of nowhere and, uh, you know, appear for a day or two and then disappear. But here's the thing. I always see anything that happens on my body, to my body, with my body as a message from my inner self to me. So things like these little, <laughs> these little things, and it was pretty painful too, I've got to say. Um, I think, okay. What's going on here? What's this message from my body? Now, there's two things that I did that I'm going to share with you. One was about the pain that it gave me. Okay, it's not extreme pain, I'll admit, but have you ever had those those little nasty, tiny little tongue ulcers? Nothing to do with anything I'd eaten. Um, I don't think to do with stress, but anyway, I, I wanted to see how it was about me speaking my truth because that is where I see these messages from my body uh, trying to tell me something. Now, I'm in the middle of a six day intensive course where um, I'm going, catching a bus into the city and going and hanging out with 250 other people. Now, this is so out of my comfort zone as an introvert, which I am. And if you know anything about introverts and extroverts, um, it's not just about how you project yourself into the world, it's, it's how you replenish your energy. And so I certainly find, hey there, I certainly find that um, I am in a place where, you know, surrounded by 250 strangers, doing incredible learning, very, very powerful, but I'm having to project an image of myself that is, now what my question was is, am I not speaking my truth? Because otherwise, where did this little tongue ulcer come from? <laughs> You're hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So I, of course, we project an image, even when I'm doing these live streams, no doubt about it, of course I project an image. Um, I'm trying to tap into my authentic self, but let me tell you, it's one thing when you're talking, you know, in a room on my own to a, to a camera, even with my beautiful, beautiful friends here with me, it's another thing when you're in a room with 250 complete strangers and you are having to interact because it was one of those courses where there's lots and lots of interaction. I love it, but you can default to this inauthenticity, this kind of mask. I mean, I'm still being me. I'm not kind of totally faking it, but am I? That's my question to myself. And so today is the second day. I'm going to jump up there and catch a bus very soon. Um, and here's the thing, I'm, today I'm really going to be aware of how, am, am I not speaking authentically? Now, I was trying to yesterday, but I was also aware that I was, I don't know, I was projecting a little bit of a persona and I was putting a bit of a mask out as we do as a protective mechanism, right? So today, because I got this little tongue ulcer, my message to myself is how can I really just be in my truth, speak my truth, not try and be anything other than who I am. Even like, like I don't know these 250 people. I mean, I'm sure they're all gorgeous people, but I'm not trying to impress anyone. <laughs> um, so that is my message to myself. Hey, Kim, how you going? Um, now, here's another thing. This is the really powerful thing I tried. So lovely to see you all here. Um, this is the thing I tried about transforming the pain. So I was lying there last night, like just exhausted after a massive, massive day of learning. Um, it's all about coaching, by the way. I already am a qualified coach, but I never want to stop learning, right? So I am always doing things to improve myself. And this opportunity came up to do six day intensive. Like it's from nine in the morning till six at night, six days in a row. So it's pretty full on. They say it's like a year's, a lot, a lot of other people do this course in a year. So it's like, ah, you know, brain, brain overload. But here's the thing I wanted to tell you about the pain that I got 
with this little tongue ulcer that just came out of nowhere. And I was lying there kind of last night just going, oh, this is, this is like a yucky pain. It's not overly painful. It's one you can ignore pretty easily. It's not like a migraine or anything like that. But I said to myself as part of my pain transformation techniques, where, what is this pain? What is the feeling behind this pain? And it was, there was a feeling was maybe irritation, annoyance. This is what I was feeling about feeling this pain. Um, irritated, annoyed, disappointed in myself. Um, uh, like kind of just scratchy, that irritable feeling. So that's, that's how the pain made me feel. So, so then the next question I asked myself is, where, especially because it's this tiny little tongue ulcer, they show up in a, in, you know, in a second and they disappear very quickly too. So where in the recent past, let's say in the last 12 hours, have those feelings come up? Now, I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm in a room with 250 people and I'm doing a lot of interacting, there's gonna be people that irritate me, annoy me. I mean, 99% of the people I found were amazing, but you know, there's always that one person who asks that question or who you just have that weird feeling with. Sometimes it's the presenter in the front, right? You know, they say something and you're like, oh, here we go or whatever. But the point is, I have to ask myself that question. Where are those emotions coming up for me? And because this was one of those uh, body symptoms that are very instant, it wasn't like a chronic kind of like arthritis or something I might have had for years and might have been developing for years. I could look over the last very short period of time. Now, in the past, I would have asked, what have I been eating and, and things like that. Now, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm asking, what have, where has my mind been? What have I been thinking? How have I been feeling? How have I been showing up or not showing up? So that was my question and this was the magic that happened. So it was, the pain level was at about a, I don't know, like a six or a seven. It was a little bit unignorable. It wasn't major, but you know, you know what these things feel like, right? I'm sure you've had them before too. As soon as I started thinking that, it disappeared. The pain disappeared. I was like, huh? I can't feel it. Like, where's it gone? What? It was like, it was like I'd taken a medication or something. It was incredible. It instantly disappeared now it has come back a little bit this morning at a very like it's at a one or a two but I'm aware it's there so I'm gonna keep working as I'm sitting on the bus I'm gonna keep working on this stuff and I really want to bring this with uh, like here to you today to share it with you because wow what a powerful technique and how incredible that we where the way we show up the way that our feelings create everything, where our mind is creates everything that we're walking into, everything that we're experiencing in our life. And, and how empowering to know that when we start bringing that awareness to it, we can transform it. So that was my message for you this morning. Hope you enjoyed. I loved playing with you in the alignment sandbox and go forth and have a gorgeous day. I'll speak to you tomorrow, bye.